Hello and welcome to It's All About You, the best show about you on the internet. I am B. Dave Walters, Life, Relationships, and Spiritual Coach. This is episode number 52, Trust and Forgiveness. But I'm probably only going to have room to type in trust, so we'll call it trust. But we're going to talk about trust and forgiveness. Uh, before we go on, I need your forgiveness. Since I ran short on time today, I didn't have time to shave before I shot this episode. So I'm all scruffy-faced in the episode where I'm talking about how to trust people. So, hey good times. Um, you know, I could talk for hours about either one of these topics, and now i got to talk about both in 20 minutes. So, here goes. First thing I want to share with you is a quote by Lao Tzu. He who trusts little is trusted little. He who trusts little is trusted little. And it's true. You, you, you get what you give to people. If you are a suspicious and distrusting person, then you can't really be surprised when you encounter a lot of suspicious and distrusting people. And quite often, it's funny, some of the, the people that I know that have the biggest trust issues get the most offended when someone dares, you know, not trust them. It's a strange thing. So why am I talking about both of these together, if I could talk about either of them for hours? And I can. It's because they're very tightly related to one another. An inability to forgive is very much tied up in a lack of trust. And I'm going to try not to bounce back and forth between the two, but they're very tightly interwoven, so who knows, I might. So let's start, first of all, with forgiveness, since I'm always saying that that's what you got to do. And you've heard me say this a hundred times, and you're probably going to hear me say it a hundred more times. Hopefully somewhere along the way you start to believe me, or that it starts to sink in. Because some of you get it better than others. Because a lot of times I get people asking me, well, how? How do I forgive? I'm like, you forgive them. And they're like, well, how? You forgive them. So let me try and explain how. Because to me, when you're like, how do I do that? I'm like, well... How do you go to sleep? You just do it. I mean, I, I, I don't really understand it. But I, let me explain to you why you might be having trouble doing it. And that's a better better explanation. Because the question is not how do you forgive. The question is why can't you forgive? Two different things. First and foremost, I would say, if there's something that you're holding on to, and you, I know you've heard this quote before, I bet you can say it. I bet. What, what's the quote from Buddha I'm about to say? Holding on to anger with the intent of hurting someone else is like picking up a hot coal with the intention of throwing it. You are the one who gets burned, okay? How angry do you have to get? How angry do you have to feel inside for it to influence someone else? It won't. How angry do you have to get to be able to travel back in time and stop whatever happened? You can't. So really, what are you holding on to this anger for? Because chances are one of two things is happening. This person has either gone on with their life and totally forgotten about you and whatever you're mad about. Or their life probably kind of sucks and karma's punishing them for you. Which speaks to what I want to say. You have to give up this idea of revenge. You have to give up this idea of punishment. You have to give up this idea of getting back at someone. It's impossible to get back at someone. All you can do is get them again. It's like I, like, I like kung fu movies. You know, I'm a martial artist. I got a couple black belts. I love kung fu movies. And, you know, revenge is a big part of, of movies. Like, you killed my teacher slash brother slash master slash wife slash, you know, my dog. And so I'm here to kill you. But the thing is, it's a never-ending cycle. Like, have you ever seen the, the Kill Bill movies? How, you know, she spends two movies killing all these people that tried to kill her, and then she kills Bill, right? Do you know that Quentin Tarantino is working on a sequel now with, um the child of Vivica A. Fox's character in it who's going to be coming looking for the bride because it's a never-ending cycle of revenge. That's what happens. Let's say, again, you walk up and you punch me in the face. You've now wronged me. And I hit you back in the face. I, You have not taken away the fact that I've been hit in the face. I'm still hit in the face. Now, you're just hit in the face too. Have I actually improved the situation? I've altered it. But have I changed it in any way? No. This is why revenge is pointless, okay? If you're having a difficulty forgiving somebody, it's because somewhere inside you still feel the need to see them punished. You still see the need to have something happen to them. And hey, who knows, pending the extent of, of the wrong they did to you, maybe they really do need to be punished. Uh, maybe they really do need to be, you know, held accountable for their actions. But that doesn't have to come with a lot of, like, anger 
invested in it and a lot of rage invested in it because it's only hurting you. It's only hurting you. Hear me. It's only hurting you. Okay? It's not hurting them. It's hurting you. Remember, forgiveness is not saying that what they did is okay. It's not. It's not a gift that you give them. It's a gift that you give you. I know you heard me say that. I hope you believe it. And now you can start saying it to other people. Because it's true at all times and all places with all people. It doesn't matter what this person's done. You've got to forgive them. Not for them. You've got to forgive them for you. Okay? You've got to let go of that negativity. You've got to let go of that anxiety. You've got to let go of that anger. Because law of attraction dictates if you're holding on to negativity, you're going to manifest more negativity. Even if you're not necessarily a subscriber to the law of attraction, if you hold on to all this anger, you can literally make yourself sick. You know, it can manifest in all kinds of unfortunate ways. Or bare minimum, even if you don't believe that it's going to manifest as an illness, it's just going to make your life kind of sucky. That you're walking around every day mad about something that happened years ago. And you know what? It's done. It's done. Happened. I don't mean to sound insensitive. You can sit and cry on my shoulder all night if you like. And we're, But by the time we get done talking, I'm still going to be talking about you. How you can move on from it. How you can release it. How you can get on with your life. That's why I've done so many videos and episodes about ways to handle and articles about how to handle negative emotions. How to get rid of the pain of the past and how to create the future on the examiner.com, which I did. And, um, you know, or, or how to get rid of your baggage and change in an instant, you know, how to reframe the pain of these memories. Because here's the thing you know, your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between something that's actually happened and something that you vividly imagine. We talk about this all the time in terms of like visualizing and goal setting and law of attraction and all that stuff. And that's when it's great. But when you allow yourself to replay these horrors in your mind over and over again, then you put yourself in a situation where this person has hurt you again and again and again and again and again, when in reality it only happened once. Or, you know, I mean, it's possible that it was a, you know, an ongoing relationship, especially if it was something with a parent. But the fact is, you've continued to play out this pattern years later. You've continued to manifest this in your own life again and again years later. So, it is 100% in your power to stop. Now, you might be thinking, well, I want them to apologize. If they apologize, I'll forgive them. Um, no, they won't. Because here's the thing, their apology is words. Their apology is words. And it's up to you whether or not you accept that apology. It's up to you whether or not you'd allow those words to come into you and then you return the gift of forgiveness. So skip a step. Forgive them. Let them go. You want to know the best revenge? I'll tell you the absolute best revenge possible. The best revenge is to live your life well. Go on and be happy. Go on and be successful. Go on with your head held high. Go on and be proud and beautiful and strong and courageous. And never look back at them and never look back at what they did. And if this person, you know, if you have to face them completely out of your life, do that. Because I tell you the saddest thing in the world, and I know a few people that are like this, that are still carrying angry grudges for people who are dead now. I mean, if mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, or whoever did what they did to you is in the ground, then for sure why are you holding on to this? It's impossible to make amends. All you're doing is continuing to torture yourself and bring this thing back now again. So why? Why? Just tell me why. You tell me why I believe you. Why? Yeah, that doesn't matter. Let it go, okay? So, you know, I can say vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I can say karma's a boomerang, or just the more pragmatic. You're not hurting them. You are hurting you. You're hurting you, and it's pointless. It's pointless. It's pointless. If you want a new and better life, you have to make new and better decisions and take new and better actions, okay? And the first step in that, is to let go of these old pains and old hurts from the past. You can use the tools I've given you. You can contact me directly. You know, I do coaching. PeaceLoveMoney.com This is a serious episode, so I'm not going to plug myself too much, but PeaceLoveMoney.com If you need my help, I will work with you directly to help change these patterns, release this negativity, create some new behaviors, and get yourself off on a new foot, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and split this for my brothers and sisters on YouTube. You guys make sure you watch part two. Everybody stay with me. We're going to talk about trust now. Hang on.